here, man. Uh, today you caught me on a rough day, guy. Okay? That's okay. We all live normal lives, guys. Okay? So you see my hair is a mess. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it, if I want to cut it, if I want to twist it. I don't know, okay? But today's video, man, you guys seem to walk around. Today's video is about the SRT8, okay? Uh, I'm having issues right now. Another issue. Uh, the battery is going bad. So, figure I'd make a video, show you guys how to replace a battery in the SRT8, okay? But I figure instead of pulling it in, I'll leave it out here, make it easier, probably get better light out here. So, just got this big ass battery. subs out so you can access it look at this stuff that's why you don't have a woman go buy something because they go sell them extra things they don't even need you don't need these but I guess since she got them I'm gonna use them These are, see this is the thing I don't know. I figure you probably can just take it apart, but I'm kind of nervous to just take it apart because I don't know if I just disassemble it, if it triggers anything, but hopefully not, we'll see. If not, you guys will be seeing it too. All right, well, all I'm gonna do now is strap that holds the battery from moving around so I'm undoing the strap and then uh, I think this is a 10 mil and a 10 mil over here to take these cable posts loose from the battery and if I can remember I think it should disconnect the negative first all right, we disconnected the negative, move that out the way. see down there there's a bracket right there that holds this from shifting side to side so down there there's a 10 millimeter bolt you take this little aluminum bracket off then you'll be able to move it out do this you want to make sure you got some extensions because you're going to need some extensions to get down there and turn it all right so here's that bracket here's the 10 millimeter bolt that goes in it so while you won't be able to get a wrench on it i got a 10 mil right here but see you could but it's going to be hard turning and you ain't got much room down there you got to remember where it's going to be at so the ratchet comes in handy okay cool so now we can move the battery out and we can uh, so we got a little drain tube for it you want to pull that out of there because you're gonna have to put that in the new battery then we pull it up red is positive 
black is negative. So you hook it up, same way you took it out. You took the negative off first, then you took the positive off. So when you put it back together, you put the positive on first, then the negative. That's just so you don't arc and spark. <laughs> So, I'm going the garage way. So you connect that like that. Push it all the way down there. And obviously guys, if you don't have subs, you're not gonna have this positive cable here. That's for my amp. So that's what that's for. And this blue wire, you won't have this either. That's for my, re that's for my switch for my uh, remote wire to the alternate, I mean to the amp. So I can cut it on and off. But you see I just touch the metal if you if I had the negative cable connected it'll start sparking. Oh, you know what? I didn't put the thing on. Hold on. That's what you do with it. So pretty much it prevents it from like corrosion from the like at the terminal post uh, on the post of the battery. So let's put that on there far as down as you can all right that's about good there we'll tighten that one up put that on the negative since we already got it off all right it don't have to be hercule tight just as long as you can't move it then it's fine that's all you need to do. Nothing crazy. All right, now I'll put the negative one on. See, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, hey, fixed it. You heard the alarm go off, okay? The alarm went off when I hooked the negative cable up. So just be aware of that. And all you gotta do is unlock the car with the remote start. I mean, with your key fob. Unlock it and then just lock the car. And it works fine. It won't, the noise will go away. It won't do it. All right, so now we're gonna put, we got the negative cable back on. We put our little unneeded Protector things from corrosion and put those on. So now I'm gonna put this bracket back in because you need that bracket there so the battery ain't shifting back and forth. careful when you're putting this back on because that's metal and you touch this your ratchet with it it will spark and you can short some stuff out in your car so be very careful not to do that guy all right we got that in got that in now it won't move so we're going to take this strap because they got this little strap i'm going to take that Dodge Charger. I'm pretty sure all the Dodge Chargers of this model are probably the same way. Oh shit. There might be some similarity <laughs> difference, but other than that, it's gonna be almost similar to this way, guy. Okay? Oh, and don't forget to put your uh, red plastic uh, little cap over the positive cable there just to prevent anything from sparking, guy. Okay? So camera lady right here this is my daughter holding the gang 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 shirt 
So I go to start the car up, and when I start the car up, you see all the dash lights now, right? So when I used to start the car up, this whole screen right here would turn white. And the needles, they would, you know how on a normal startup, they go back and then they come back and then they go to the normal position. Well, they would go back and then like slowly go like tick, 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 all the way back to normal and then go to the normal position. So we'll see if it does that still. don't turn white no more so that mean that was a dead battery right so you guys know how the ending goes wild hair don't care baby so just like that we out baby